London guard Doug Herring Jr. scored 27 points as the Lightning beat the Halifax Hurricanes 110-102 in London on Monday to take a 3-2 lead in the best-of-seven National Basketball League of Canada Finals. The Lightning, who have won three straight home games after falling behind 0-2 in the series, are one victory away from their fourth NBLC title in the league's seven-year existence. However, they'll have to seal the deal on the road in Halifax where they dropped the first two games of the finals last week. Game 5 on Monday saw London build a big first-half lead over Halifax on the strength of solid three-point shooting and transition play. A layup, foul and free throw by forward Garrett Williamson capped an 8-0 lightning run to stretch the lead to 33-22 late in the first half. Garrett Williamson attempts to get around the Hurricanes' Rommel Brown in one of the earlier games in the NBL Finals. Luke Derda, it was more of the same from the home squad to start the second half as the Lightning forced a shot clock violation, then drilled a three and made a layup for a 68-48 mid-third quarter advantage. Halifax, sensing the game slipping away, drew close in the fourth led by Toronto wing Tyrone Watson who had 32 points and 10 rebounds in the game. His driving layup drew the Hurricanes to within three points, 89-86, but Halifax could not even up the game as London's hot shooting kept the lead near double digits as the final buzzer sounded. NBLC Deputy Commissioner Rodley Stevenson said the home teams are undefeated in the finals, which could make for a thrilling finish. This has been a home series, you play at home, you get the win, Stevenson told the league's post-game show. The Halifax Hurricanes are feeling good, I mean they've fought all year long to get the best record in the league, and this is what it's going to really matter for. I don't count this Halifax squad out, the series shifts to Halifax for Game 6 on Thursday and the Hurricanes must win to stay alive. If they don't, London would be the first team in league history to rally from an 0-2 deficit to win the championship.